Welcome to the first Titan PEI video. Uh, I wanted to start this one with a little bit of a quiz. I want you to try and pronounce the word that's at the bottom of the screen. So maybe pause the video now for a few minutes and try and pronounce it. And then we'll see if you've pronounced it right, wrong. Uh, have a little fun with it. So, if you watch the video, you'll see that I pronounced it terribly wrong. The actual way to pronounce it is Bredalbany. I was actually pronouncing it Bredalbane during the video, so I apologize for that, for anybody who lives there or is from the area. Um, if you leave your comments at the bottom on how you pronounced it, we'll have a little fun with it and see if you pronounced it the right way or the wrong way. Also, uh, in the video, um, I read before I went that there's giant hogsweed, but I didn't see any. Giant hogsweed is usually about 15 feet high. It's huge. It's almost a tree. Um, I did, however, see cow parsnip, and I have that in the video. I edited out some of that. Um, but the cow parsnip is, if you get the liquid from the stalks on you, it'll actually cause a rash. It's not as bad as hogsweed, but you still can get a rash, so be careful with that. Uh, as long as you're not climbing out through it or anything, and the trail doesn't go that close to it, so you shouldn't have a problem. Also, um, just to remind you to bring your bug spray, I left in the mosquito sounds. Um, edited out the swearing of me running up and down the trail, but uh, bring your bug spray on this one, you'll enjoy it a lot better. So. Welcome to Hiking PEI and welcome to the Breedlebane uh, hiking trail in Breedlebane PEI. Uh, just watch on the steps there, it looks like there's a hornet's nest under the top step. If you're coming here anytime soon, um, and I'm going to pick up some garbage on the way out. I see somebody dump some garbage right by the trailhead, so uh, let's take a hike. Well, this is my first hike PEI video, and what a beautiful spot. Uh, early morning here at Breedlebane, uh, Breedlebane Nature Trail, and uh, it's just a beautiful little stream, runs down through a grassy valley. Uh, the trail itself runs through a strip of trees on either side of the stream valley, and uh, it's just a beautiful morning. Actually, if it gets on your skin, it can be uh, give you a rash and stuff. So it actually goes up over my head. So it's about six feet tall. Big leaves. Kind of smells like a skunk. White flowers. Um, here's a patch of it along the trail. Actually, the trail kind of goes through a little patch of it. So have to be careful with that. All those white flowers. Like I say, they're kind of like poison ivy. So. Don't get in the middle of them. The big white flower plants out there, that's what it is. Some along the trail, but not too bad on the trail itself. I haven't hit any patches that I come too close to yet. Logging through some very wet grass. Oh, it's starting to go through my pants. Very wet. I should say there's a lot of mosquitoes down by the uh, 
edge of the stream here. Of course I didn't bring my bug spray. White flowers, big crazy looking leaves, about six feet high. Mosquitoes everywhere, I keep moving. Beautiful little valley though. Small little waterfall come out of the culvert there. Oh, it looks like somebody's backyard. I'd say from the arrows, they really want us to go this way. Well, I'm loving this trail so far. Just keeps falling along the stream, going up in the woods, falling along the stream. Hit little bridges, cross over the stream. It's a nice uh, mix because when you're down by the stream, the mosquitoes are just relentless. Bang your bug spray. Um, but what a beautiful little stream. And the trail goes into, been through some red pine stands, beautiful old softwood stands. Now I went through just kind of a little hardwood ridge. Comes out along fields, just got a little bit of everything, so. And we're right at the back of the trail now. Old farm road, nice. Here to be a beautiful morning. Beautiful little stream. And now we're at the back, so probably another three and a half kilometers on the trail to get out to the car again if I can find the trail. Oh, it's up on the hill. I forgot about this, but uh, there's sections here. This is a Confederation Trail. It goes all the way from tip to tip to tip to tip. 435 kilometers of old rail bed that uh, got converted into trails. Um, part of this trail travels along it, and I think it veers off down again towards the stream. And there's a very happy woodpecker. So we just gotta look for where the trail goes back into the woods here. That's not culvert. Not sure what that's all about. Oh, there it is there. So short distance, trail goes back into the woods, falls the stream, all the way back down to where we came out. Or went in, I guess. It's a 
beautiful little bend in the river with some hardwoods along it. These crazy looking willows that are dipped right into the stream. You can actually cross it out like a bridge if you wanted to. Back at the Confederation Trail. Beautiful little shelter here. Beautiful Confederation Trail. Do you like biking or just want to go for a long walk on a nice wide path? That is the way to do it. Angry Robin scared the crap out of me. Oh my god. I went in the shelter. If you look under the shelter, I don't know if you can see it there, but in underneath is a nest. And now the mama robin is very angry with me, so. Well, here's where we go back in the woods again. Interesting. So the full loop is about seven kilometers. Um, this bridge crosses over before that though, probably cuts off at least two kilometers, maybe three. So you can make it a four or five kilometer loop too, if that's what you want to do. Actually more than that, if you see here, this is a bridge, so cuts it almost in half, so about three and a half kilometer loop if you wanted. So this is just a little side access trail that uh, by the bridge it crosses over in the middle of the trail and takes you up to the Confederation Trail. And the last part of the trail is actually on the Confederation Trail to the pavement, so. I'm almost to the end of the Breedlebane Nature Trail in Breedlebane, uh, halfway between Cavendish and Summerside. Beautiful little trail, follows a beautiful little stream. Seven kilometer trail, it's quite long. Um, there's a bridge about halfway though, you can cut off a loop and, and it'd be about half of that, three and a half, four kilometers. And you can also come up and hit the Confederation Trail runs along the stream too. So if you want to do part in the woods and part on the Confederation Trail. So thanks for joining me. And until next time, uh, hope to see you on the trail.